you started writing the book, and then the lawsuit broke. And then you went back and added the, the, the extra chapters, correct? Right. The theme of the book is settle for more, which mm. means basically when you come through tough times, you have to demand more of yourself. And it also means that if you feel unhappy, you have to demand more from yourself. And so when trouble hit at Fox News, I was faced with a question, which was, what was I going to do? I knew what had happened to me 10 years earlier. And that's when you made the decision to, to add the other chapter and, and tell that, that part of the story? Well, after it was all said and done, uh, and Ailes had been let go, and you know, the company was getting back on its feet emotionally, um, I spoke with the Murdochs about whether I should write about this. You know, did they think that this was an appropriate subject for this book? And we all agreed that it would have been a glaring omission if I had left it out. If you if you bumped into him on the street today, what would you, what would you say, if anything, to him? I don't think I'd have any, anything to say there. I really don't. I've said it all. Would you do anything differently if you can go back, even to 10 years ago when it initially happened, would you change anything? The reality of the situation was, if I had done more, I mean, I did report it. I reported it to my supervisor, yeah. which is more than a lot of women feel the courage to do because we live in fear in these cir circumstances. We live in fear. Um, but I did report it to a supervisor, and that person had an obligation to bring it higher up the line. Beyond that, I think I did... Yeah. what I could do, given my limited position in the company. And I think even today, women are probably struggling with this out there, wondering if they're the only ones, wondering if they're to blame. And I want them to know that they're not to blame, and they're almost certainly not the only ones, and to consider what the options are. I mean, if I were in this position again, I would recommend going to, in particular, perhaps a woman with influence in my company who could perhaps help me navigate it. Got to ask you, yesterday Bill O'Reilly was on CBS in the morning. Did you did you see the interview and just thoughts on his response asked about your book? You know, I just think that as Rupert Murdoch and Lachlan Murdoch uh, believe, it's important to talk about this. Hmm. And if anybody has done something bad to Fox News, it's Roger Ailes. And those of us he targeted, along with the owners of the company, think it's important to be honest about that situation so we can make sure it never happens again. And President-elect Trump, <laughs> have you spoken to him at all yet? Not yet. No. You're going to try to set up a, a sit down? I'm sure we will. Yeah, I actually feel pretty confident that, uh, I mean, I have a good relationship with him now. And I get along with Ivanka very well. I know his children. I know his family. So, you know, even before he was elected, I was getting signs back from Team Trump that an interview was coming. So I, I feel good about it.